there was an ancient problem two and a half thousand years ago in our antiquity there was a puzzle how to double the cube so this is called a unit cube so if the side of this square is one and we go into three dimensions we can call this a unit cube because the three sides the length the breadth and the width all everything that you see here is one one and one if everything is one times one times one the cubic volume of this is one the puzzle was how to double the volume of a cube and most people would say that if i just extended this from one to two and made i doubled my unit and got it two by two by two you would realize that two by two by two is eight so we've actually increased the volume of the cube by eight not one so there's a very critical factor or ratio which we're coming up to how to double the volume of the cube and the origin of this puzzle um, the origin of this puzzle comes from one of my most favorite books of all time It's called the secret teachings of all ages by Manly P Hall and about a couple of weeks ago I did a, um, a talk about the Oracle of Delphi sitting on her tetrahedron and you can see that there's kings and queens who've come they've asked about the war am I gonna win the war in France and Germany so so this is the scribe here and there's the, the, the kings and queens and princesses consulting the oracle. So she's going into trance and she's going and she tells them, she says in a nutshell, to have success in your journey to win the war, I advise that you double the cube. So that was the message. They had to divide the cube. And remember, this was the time at Pythagoras and some other great mathematicians. So they went and consulted all the greatest mathematicians of the time like you know Euclid and that and they said hey okay what we need to do the oracle of Delphi is asking us to double the cube literally so um this is the solution and they did it geometrically so the ancient Greeks did this um very geometrically the cube now is a bit bigger we haven't worked out what it is yet but you can see that that was a small unit cube, but now the next cube is increased. But if we were to measure the volume of this cube, we need to know the actual length. We need to know this length, which is uniform. And without going into all the geometry and the algebra that was required, this is like a highly intelligent question and required the greatest minds of our his history time to get this right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell you that it was based on the number two because we're doubling so that baby three there is called the cube root so the cube root of two that's the solution the cube root of two means what number multiplied by itself three times um will give two because th this is the volume of one but we want the volume here to equal two um, so on your calculator here, um, without showing you all the algebra, um, I have my calculator here, scientific calculator. If I turn it this way here, did you see how I went from, that's a normal calculation, but when I turn it like this, I end up getting um, a scientific calculator. So I want the number two. So um, there's two. And I want to find the cubed root of two. So if you look closely, if you look closely at this, I'm going to touch it here. You can see an X, the cube root of X with a little three there. So when I touch the, the X, the cube root of two is 1.259. Um, I'm going to write that down. So it equals, the answer was 1.259. And the reason I'm saying this is that most people would say that if this is one, to double our cube, we go a length of two, um, two units, but Two cubed, um, two cubed equals eight. So that can't be the answer because the the cubed root of eight means what number multiplied by itself gives two gives eight. So um, the cubed root of eight is two because two times two times two equals the eight. So you can see here that to find the cubic solution to this problem, we had to know a very critical um, ratio, 1.259.
and often we put three dots after it because it means that those decimals go forever. It doesn't go 2.2590, it goes on and on. So I just wanted to show you that um, mathematicians for thousands of years have um, been completely engrossed and mystified by certain volumes of, of information. But the reason why this one is interesting is that it's in our history two and a half thousand years ago and it, and it came through a channel, it came through like a priestess of knowledge. And so she knew that to win the war we had to double the volume of our cube because that was doubling the energy of your altar, of your prayer.